Joseph, you two, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Elon Musk unbans Andrew Tate on Twitter. Now, guys, this post and conversation is brought to you by the Coffee Pod official. Make sure you click the link pinned to the top of the comment and follow us on Instagram. That's one way you can support the channel if you enjoy the content. It's always great to see more people following us on the Instagram. Wow, here we are, man. Looks like Twitter's finally drinking some coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I can't believe it. So are millions of people who are upset about this news. Andrew Tate being reinstated on Twitter is good news for a lot of people, but for some, they can't handle it. He wasn't the only one that Elon Musk actually reinstated back on the platform. We've got Jordan Peterson, who was banned for um, misgendering an actress. I think he called her a she when she transitions to a he and apparently you can't do that or well you can do it now <laughs> things are changing and people that's part of the confusion is people wondering well, what is considered hate speech going forward and hopefully from what we can see misgendering somebody in a tweet won't get you banned and the fact that that was the case before is absolutely ridiculous, which is what happened again to Jordan Peterson. When it comes to Andrew Tate speaking on intersexual dynamics, relationships, modern dating, and having a view that may be contrary to the female empowerment, femme empowerment movement, based on him being unbanned, will not be hate speech on the app. You can actually have your own opinion that's not in line with how other people want you to think. Thank you. Thank you to Elon Musk and the good work that he's doing over there at Twitter. But people are pissed, man. People are pissed. But not these people in these comments that I'm about to read. First comment in reaction. The internet, of course, reacted. Reads, Top G is back. 1K plus likes. Next comment here says, that's a win. I agree. Another person here commented and said, greatest comeback ever. Facts. Another person said, best effing day ever. So a lot of gentlemen here support the move. We've got another comment that says woke liberals on Twitter are having a meltdown over all these accounts reinstatements. The laughing emoji, yeah, they're tripping, man. Um, another person here says making Twitter great again. They're not sure. At least I haven't heard anything about Donald Trump getting reinstated back on Twitter. And, and I, I know, of course, it has to come down to um, the elections that are around the corner. And... That's a, that's a big decision for Elon Musk because if he does not allow someone who's going to be running the upcoming elections, then is it truly a free speech platform or is Donald Trump in the eyes of whoever is in charge right now at Twitter in the same category as someone like Alex Jones who will not ever be getting reinstated? We know that for sure. I believe Elon Musk confirmed that. But honestly, outside of politics, you don't really hear... Um, much from Donald Trump. So interesting. I, I'm curious to see how um, they decide to move with that going forward. Next comment says, commentate an Elon W. Another person who says, shouldn't silence people because you disagree with them. Another guy added, finally free. Next comment reads, speech is speech. If you don't like it, pass over it and move on. Another commenter added, might even download Twitter for the first time. I'm, I have a Twitter. You can go follow me. I'm not active on there. And... Um, I'm interested now. I'm interested in the platform just because it's like TikTok, right? I'm active on TikTok, but I just think it's just a countdown to the video that's going to get me taken off the platform inevitably. Another comment here says, I'm happy he's back, to be honest. And finally, our last comment says, I think he's a good role model for young men. He just needs to convey his message more eloquently. Yeah, I agree with that statement. And so would Andrew Tate because... Again, we'd never seen somebody who'd taken over the internet as quickly as he did, addressing topics that were that controversial. And he said many times that if he knew just how quickly he would have grown and um, how fast he'd become famous, then he would have approached his exposure and the way he delivered his content a little bit differently. As always, guys, I'm curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.